Peace, family. I hope you guys are happy and healthy and doing well. This is going to be a day in the life. I have a lot to do. I've been fighting my post office. Can you divorce your post office? I don't think you can, but I really want to divorce my post office. It is trash. Like, every time I have packages coming in, they lose them. They just say they deliver them. I open a case. They'll close the case and say they contacted me without contacting me. It's a mess. So, anyways, that's not what we're doing today. I had to reorder some stones. I'm making an engagement ring. So excited. So excited. I know I said I wasn't doing custom, so just don't tell nobody. Um, but I have a few things I need to do. If you guys saw my last, not my last video, but like my last type of vlog video, my husband had to rig my Tumblr <laughs> because I had a broken belt or something. So I'm going to the jewelry supply store for that. I need to get another battery for my calipers. Um, I want to double check and make sure that I have the right size of this for the stones that I'm about to set. And I'm also going to look around in that area and see if I can find some nice vases or compare prices for vases for the centerpieces for my sip and shop. So I thought I'd just take you guys along with me to my happy place, which is the jewelry supply store. <laughs> I always find what I need and the service is always great and I always come back accomplished and ready to work. So let's go. Okay, family. So the jeweler supply store is like on the other side of town for me. So it's always a little field trip when we have to come out here. But I just make a list of what I need and get everything done in one trip. So here we are at my favorite place. One of the first things that I needed to do was get my tumbler um, fixed. So actually the hair bow that my husband put in there was working pretty well, but I just wanted to come and get the actual belt to put in there. I have had this tumbler for years, actually since I started learning to metalsmith and this is my first time having to replace a belt. So these Lorton tumblers are very, very durable. They last for a very long time. And now that I've fixed this belt, this one is going to last for many years to come. All you have to do is put a little oil on it every once in a while. Make sure that you take care of it and it's good. It'll take care of you. So these are my calibers. I actually have two pair and both of them <laughs> needed a new battery, which is an easy fix if you have a battery. So Mr. Jim that works in the store, actually the owner of the jewelry supply store and my husband are Yay. fixing my calibers up for me. And now it works. You work. So I have to do some flush settings for this engagement ring that I'm about to make. And um, Jim is a professional jeweler, so sometimes when I have a project going on, he will just help me figure some things out, make sure I have the correct equipment to do so. So that's what we're doing now. We're measuring the stone and then measuring my burrs to make sure that I have the correct burr to set the stone um, inside my ring. This is going to be first, my first time doing the flush setting on a piece that I am selling, but I have definitely practiced and studied this method, so I'm ready. Okay, so as usual, the jewelry supply store was everything I ever needed, but we're down here for a different reason now. We're trying to compare prices for decor, so this is my first time on Harwin looking for this specifically and looking they look like they have a bunch of options. Let's see if they have anything that will fit our aesthetic. Family, y'all see this elephant? I asked her how much it was, even though it's giving Indian vibes. It started at 400. Then I said, okay, thanks. She went down to 200 and then went down to 150. 
Um, so there are no prices marked on <laughs> most of the things in this shop, which is not the vibe for me because I feel like you can just change the price. The price can be whatever comes off the top of your head if you don't have prices marked. So that's what I'm telling you here. I'm just silencing it because of the music. So from that point forward, I wasn't feeling it, but I thought I'd still walk around and get ideas. And I do love these gold animals. I feel like they're taking me to Wakanda. <laughs> and that would be a cool theme for an event. So it doesn't hurt to walk around and get ideas. They have a lot of different stuff to look at. A lot of animals. Some of them have like Indian type vibes. Um... And they did have a few things that felt like African vibe and also fake flowers and vases. So all things that I kind of needed to look at to get some ideas for the decor for my show. Not a wasted trip, but I'm not spending any money in here. Okay, this is gorgeous. I might be back for this to put on the balcony outside. I love this one. I wonder if they have this in gold. This is cute. Even this little tree is super cute to me. How much is this tree, girl? 50 bucks, that ain't bad. The white one. I'm loving this stuff more. Hmm? Yay, it's the good post office. Where they do that job at? Family, so I came in Ross for a totally different reason. And do y'all see these gorgeous gold vases? And there are two of them. I think I have to get those for the entrance to the event. I'm so excited. Ross got the stuff. Family, we are really vlogging it up on this channel these days. Um, so I'm running out, it's early in the morning. I'm running out to Ross because yesterday I took my daughter shopping and we went to Ross. and I've been looking around for decor um, for my sipping shop. And I found two big, gorgeous vases that I'm gonna put right at the entrance. I'm gonna put some tall, um, red, and stuff flowers and it's gonna be gorgeous so i'm going to a different ross to see if i can find some more because i really would like them in pairs at least so anyways if i see something nice i'll show you guys what it is i have a ring that i need to work on before i can even get started on show pieces and then i have a bunch of jewelry that i want to make before the sipping shop to help me promote you know what i do in my work and then when I get to the show, I'll be able to just focus on the vendors that are there to show their work. So I'm excited. Let's go see what we can find. Okay, so we're in Ross. That's cute. And they have some things to look at for sure. That's the thing about Ross. You definitely can't expect for different Ross stores to have the same items, but sometimes they will. I do like these glass faces a lot. So we're just going to take a look around and see what they have. Um, the show is the colors are red, black, green, and gold. So actually they don't have to be gold. We can find some really nice black faces. Um, kind of like these right here. But I would like for them to be kind of tall. So we're looking for centerpiece faces. And we're looking for... Um, an ice bucket, but a beautiful one. Just a few things to make it look really put together.
done made an engagement ring, y'all. Oh. Green stone came out. That one looks good. Ooh, and these look great. So I just gotta fix one green stone. But I made an engagement ring. And... <laughs> I think it's gorgeous, gorgeous. So happy with how this is turning out.